there is major damage to some homes. There's also major coastal erosion. Most of that happened at high tide, and the residents tell us when high tide came in, they felt they had no choice but to evacuate. When I came home, there was water trickling through the basement door. I was like, all right, that's not too bad. But then 10 minutes later, the door got barged open. And it's at that point, you're like, it's more about your safety. So it's like, get out. This is the aftermath of ocean water and beach sand flooding into Bob Glendon's home on Salisbury Beach shortly after he evacuated. Outside, just a few houses down, another home is dangling and in jeopardy of falling into the ocean. Next to that house, Joe Ganges says major erosion from the overnight rainstorm, tidal flooding and powerful waves is undermining his family's beachfront home too. I think the next storm that we have, that ocean is going to take it. It'll definitely take it. Residents are calling on the town and the state to build a seawall to protect the beach and their homes. When I was like two or three, we'd play baseball games right here. That's how much space we had, and now it's all gone. It's not just private homes in danger. Public beach access is also destroyed. That's the state access. There's a probably a 15, 20 foot gap between the end of it and the sand. So that was all sand. In this neighborhood in Salisbury, roads were closed and it was a waiting game to see how bad the flooding would get. We have water in the basement. You can't ignore global warming and the sea level rise issues. For our lifetimes, we think we're fine. <laughs> we'll see what happens after that. And tonight, the affected property owners are continuing to assess the damage to their property. They tell us they're fearful that their flood insurance premiums will increase because of the increasing frequency and severity of these extreme weather events. Reporting live in Salisbury, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.